Black mothers giving a message to that house right there. The house that oppression and bloodshed built. Damn right. Giving a message to that house. Taking it right to that house.
I feel so uncomfortable when they touch me When all I do is love, how can this really be? And I'm praying on my knees for someone to save me You don't know how this feel to hurt is so deep I'm not here to, I'm not here to oppress nobody I tried to get an abortion too, I just couldn't afford it But that was the most high stopping me from killing off their legacy. So I'm not here to condemn you because what was is what it was been. We here today to start new from scratch. So I'm saying moving forward, every black life gotta matter. We ain't here to argue about is it a zygote? Is it a piece of sales? If it's not a baby, leave it alone and let it grow and see what it do. Don't try to, I'm, don't insult my intelligence. I'm not gonna dishonor my ancestors like that anymore. And I'm also not gonna dishonor my ancestors by dishonoring you with my tongue. So what if your lifestyle don't match my lifestyle? So what if your outlook don't match my outlook? I'm not gonna demean you and tear you down. Cause all y'all got a little bit of God inside of you even when we don't agree with one another. So we gotta take a vow that we done with the hypocrisy. If your life matter, I don't care if you twerking, you still a queen, you my sister. I want you to look at somebody and say, I am my sister's keeper. And I'm going to let you keep me too. I'm going to forgive you. I'm going to suffer along with you. I'm going to overlook your faults. I'm going to serve you. And that's the oath we got to take because we literally are watching the generation waste away and fall apart. And they need us to get it together, y'all. We the aunties. We're the saviors that we've been waiting for. We're the answer. Put your cape on and go to work. What that feels like to be taken from your parents, to be taken from your community, from your bloodline, to be disconnected, to live on this earth and believe that even though your parents are living, that they're dead to you because you have no connection to them. And I am one of millions of kids in this country. The stories after stories after stories after stories, countless stories of being physically abused, sexually abused, over-medicated in a system in a pipeline to the prison system. I am one of 3% of children who graduated from college and a fewer percentage that went to law school so that I could take down this system and I could bankrupt this system by filing lawsuits against the government for the separation of our families in the name of safety. Bullshit. Bullshit. Not providing our parents the resources that they need to keep our families whole. Having our families be in a situation where they even have to be in a situation of poverty and then saying it's their fault and punishing them. Fuck that. And you're punishing us. You're punishing the children that you're saying that you're protecting. It's bullshit. It was through representing parents that I learned how this system was stacked up against my parents. That led me to believe and to learn that the lies that they told me, that my mother didn't want me, that she didn't fight for me, that she chose drugs over me, were lies. And that is why we march, that is why it is so important that we speak up and that we show up and that we show people what is actually happening with the system. That we are not silent. Because I don't think I would have ever reconnected with my mother and my father had I not represented parents and seen how this system treats these treats parents. I don't think I would have believed them if I had reconnected with them and they told me it was too hard for me to come to court because I knew that I couldn't leave with you. I don't know that I would have believed my parents if they had told me <laughs> that they that they loved me, that they didn't that they that they wanted to keep me. I don't know that I would have believed them. So that's why it's so important that we show up. And I'm proud of us for all coming here because Mother's Day is a difficult day for a lot of us. It's a difficult day for me too because it's a reminder of all of the times in which I felt like I was a motherless child. But we're here to bear witness and we're here for this first Black Mothers March on Washington. And I believe that we are gonna come back here soon and we're gonna be commemorating the abolishment of this system. 
and we're going to be here celebrating the abolishment and the destruction of the system.